Hey guys, it's Luke, and we're back this week with another video about this week's gospel. This week's gospel is from Matthew chapter 14, verses 22 to 33, and it talks about Peter and the other disciples being caught in a sea in a huge storm, and it talks about Jesus walking on water. This passage takes place right after Jesus fed over 5,000 people. Towards the evening, Jesus wanted some time alone with God to pray. So he asked his disciples to get on a boat and cross the Sea of Galilee. The disciples on the water encountered a violent storm. The wind and the waves were very strong, and the disciples were afraid. Jesus went out to meet the disciples walking on the water. The disciples saw a figure in the distance, but couldn't tell who it was because of the strong storm. They were even more afraid and thought it was a ghost. Jesus told them, Take courage, it is I. Do not be afraid. Peter, hesitant, replied, Lord, if it's you, tell me to come to you on the water. And Jesus told him to come. Peter got out of the boat and miraculously stepped onto the water and began walking toward Jesus. As he kept walking, he took his focus off Jesus, and he saw the big waves and felt the strong wind, and he began to feel afraid. He began to sink and called out to the Lord to help, and immediately, Jesus reached out his hand and caught him. He told Peter, You of little faith, why did you doubt? They climbed onto the boat and immediately the waves calmed and the wind died down. The disciples worshipped him, saying, Truly, you are the Son of God. Do you ever feel like Peter? Yes, sometimes I focus on things other than Jesus, like our electronic devices or video games. When Peter stepped onto the water and kept his focus on Jesus, he began walking towards him. When he took his focus off Jesus and concentrated on the violent waves and strong winds, he became afraid and began to sink. In our lives, we can also become distracted with our games and toys, and we lose focus. Jesus tells us not to be afraid, not to doubt him. When he says, take courage, it is I, don't be afraid, he is telling us not to worry and put our trust in Him. When I feel afraid, I forget about everything around me. Just like Peter, I lose focus of what is most important, and that's Jesus. It is important to keep our eye on the prize and never turn away from Jesus. Sometimes when I'm feeling sad, I don't know what to do and I will try to distract myself with something else. When I'm sad, I don't think of making time for Jesus in my life and I go further away from Him. When I start praying and talking to Jesus, it helps me to refocus and come closer to Him. We have to remember that even if we are feeling sad, we can't turn away from Jesus because He is the one who will help us out when we are going through tough times. I have learned to take the time to talk to Jesus whether I am sad or I am happy. Jesus shows the importance of taking the time to pray to God. It is important to keep a strong relationship with God. Okay, so here is a normal paper clip, and here is a bowl of water. Looks pretty normal, right? So if I drop this paper clip into the bowl of water, it's gonna sink, right? Here. Just like that. This first paper clip can represent us when we lose faith and trust. And like Peter, we will begin to sink. However, there is a way that we can make this paper clip float. So here are another two paper clips, same as the last one. If I bend this paper clip, like so, I could actually use it to gently place the second paper clip onto the water. So if I place it here, I could actually use it very gently, and it will float on the water. So this second paper clip represents Jesus and our trust and faith in Him. And if we stay focused and keep our eye on Jesus, He will guide us and help to keep us afloat. So to wrap it all up, it is important to always keep our eye on Jesus. We have to trust in Jesus that he will help us when we are afraid. It is important to not turn away from God, even when there are so many other things going on around us. And that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video and you want to watch more, you could check out our last video about Jesus feeding the 5,000. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more content. Thanks again and see you in the next one.